It's been yeah. nearly 10 years, I think, hasn't it? It certainly has, yeah. <laughs> my, my aim was to play up, attempted to learn the guitar and forget it. Right. That was my aim, but uh, it all turned out completely different. Um, in 2010, um, my partner, who was a really good guitarist, he played in a band and um, that was, that, guitaring was his life. And I didn't really take much notice, it was what, it was what he did. I was more into running and that was my hobby. Um, and then I think it was September of 2010, he was diagnosed with motor neurons disease. And um, kind of in a good way, it wasn't going to be prolonged. So um, yeah, they, they said it would be about six months, um, which gave us time to really or cement what we wanted out of life. Near the end, when he was still playing his guitar, um, he asked me to promise him that I would actually learn to play the guitar. So, of course, I was going to say, I wasn't going to say no, so I said, of course I will. And now he had many guitars, but the one that stood out for me was the biggest guitar you could ever imagine. I think it was a jumbo square neck, um, but it looked nice, it was shiny. Um, so I thought, well, uh, uh, um, what happened? Because he had so many guitars and he had a lot of friends that were guitarists. I gave his guitars out to friends because I thought it's pointless me keeping them all. And I didn't even know what they were. I kept this one big guitar. Um, and then, it, so he died in March of 2011. Of course, when it got to about, I think it was about July when I met you. So, uh, so yes, I turned up that day and with my biggest guitar that was probably bigger than me. <laughs> I remember sitting down with you and you asking me some questions of what music I liked and obviously I told you my story. And, and at that time it was all sort of a bit raw still. And I, and I thought, well, at least I've done it. And if I last a couple of months, you know, I've, 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 done, I've, I've fulfilled his wish. And then it just took off from there. I mean, I, I didn't realise how much I would love it, um, how much I got out of it, um, how much you and the other teachers have given me, the friendships I've made throughout those years. Um, it's just become a big, big part of my life. And now I've got guitars all around the room. No, I've been doing online um, Zooms with Zach and the Wednesdays. Um, and now I've been joined by Gemma, uh, which is nice. Um, and you know, it's been really good. Um, it's amazing what you've kept going. Um, I hope people realise, you know, how difficult it would be for you to, to do what you've done. No, well, thank you. And thank you for, you know, providing what you've done. Um, you know, when you look back over those 10 years, you know, where we've come, you know, the Purdy Language School, that hall in the, um, the church hall in... Oh, the church hall in Purley, if we were there for a bit, weren't we, yeah. The Scream Studios, and you had various rooms in Scream, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> My ultimate goal was achieved in 2011, finding you. Um, oh. <laughs> I mean, and where I go from there, I mean, every day is a joy to play. That's so nice. And, um, you know, advice what I would give. Um, all I would say is if you're not enjoying playing guitar at the moment, ask why and, uh, and speak to the teachers because they're really, you know, they will tell you what you can get out of it and where you're going wrong, why you're not enjoying it. And I remember saying to Zach um, a little while ago, um, I always need a sheet. Give me a sheet and I'm happy. And he said, use your ears. Um, listen to the music. Don't worry about what's on the sheet. Um, if you if you listen and use your ears and then try and work it out yourself without a sheet, and it really does work. And from that one from the first note, you can work out where that note's come from and it, where it's going. Uh, don't rely on pieces of paper.